So today we're going to go over uh, section 1.2, points, lines, and planes. This, uh, what you'll learn is you'll know the definition of a point, line, plane, whether it's collinear, coplanar, and uh, a line segment in a ray. And then we'll be able to name points that are collinear or coplanar. Um, and then we'll look at drawing. So what we're going to start with is a point. A point, here's the definition of a point, has no dimension. Okay, so there's no length, no width to it. It's usually represented by a dot, and it's named using one capital letter. So here's an example, that would be point B. So then the next thing that you have, points do not have size. So again, if we looked at it, we label each point separately. So we wouldn't say if we have three separate points, we wouldn't name A, A, and B. We'd, we'd name it C. So there are three separate ones. So that's how we label it, the label A, B, and C. So that's a uh, point. A line has a dimension, it extends on forever. A line has two arrows at the end of it. That's how we can tell it's a line. Uh, uh, the next thing consists of infinite amount of points. So if you think about it, there's infinitely many points within this line right here as we go on forever. All right, and it's always straight. There's no curve up and down to it as we go through. And as you look at lines, the lines extends on to infinity, no thickness. So here's how to name it. So you can just name it line N, but most of the time we're going to name it by the points on it. So here we could label this line AB, we could label it BC, we could label it AC, we could label it BA, we could label it CA, or we could go CD. So there's really a, a number of ways in which we can label it. Biggest thing to point out, we don't label a line with three. It's just two points make up the line. So once again, it doesn't matter how you label it. So you can go AB or AC, BA or BC, but we make sure when you label it, it has an arrow on the top for each one. A plane now is two dimensions. So it's usually represented by a four-sided figure. It doesn't have to. A triangle would be a plane. But uh, usually you're going to see a flat surface, two dimensions. We can label a plane by three points. So we can label this plane A, B, C, or you could say plane and then capital letter W. So two ways to label it that way. So more on planes uh, as you look at it. Okay, so how we label it is by at least three points. Now, if you go through, can you move it over a little bit here? So if you have a plane like this, that's A, point B, C, and D. So you can label a plane, uh, a plane A, B, C, or D like that. Okay. Or you can just say three letters. A, B, C, B, C, D. You could say uh, D, A, B. Any number of ways to label. You, just, you have to have at least three points. So, as we go ahead and we look at it, so if I want to label plane A, B, C, D, that would be this plane up here, A, B, C, D, would be the top of my figure. Then we can go to the next plane, plane, plane E, F, G, and H would be the bottom part. Plane B, C, G, and F, B, C, G, and F would be this right side. Plane A, D, H, and E, A, D, H, and E would be the left side. And then we do front back. So plane A, B, F, E, A, B, F, E is the back. And our last one is the front. C, D, H, G. So that's our that's our that's how we label it. We need at least three points, but here you can label it with just, uh, or here we label it with four, but you need at least three. Alright, so what does it mean to be collinear? Collinear means all the points lie on the same line. Coplanar means all of the points lie on the same plane. Collinear, same line, coplanar on the same plane. So if I want to go ahead and I want to label name a point that is collinear with the given points. So B and E, and we want it to be collinear. So if we have B and E, we could also say that would be I. So you could say I is collinear with it. 
Then we got C and H. So C and let's find C and H. Then we go point E. If we go D and G, D and G, B would be collinear with right A. A and C, A and C, B would be collinear with right And then H and E, H, E, C would be collinear. And lastly, G, B. So you have G to B, which would be D is collinear. All right? If you want to come here, name a point that is coplanar with the given points. So M, N, and R. So if we look at it, M, N, R. So what else is on this bottom plane? It'd be T. If you have M, N, O, M, N, and O. So we're talking about this side here. And P would be coplanar. M, T, Q. So you have M, T, and then Q is up here. So we're talking about this front part. And P is coplanar. Uh, and now we'll go to the last one, Q, T, and R. So we have Q, T, and R, S would be the other So I want you to write down this figure and then label which ones are coplanar with it. Alright. Um, so coplanar objects, objects that lie on the same plane. The plane does not have to be visible. So it doesn't have to be, it could be at a diagonal. And we'll go through some of that. All right, so are the following points called planar, A, B, and C? Yeah, A, B, and C, that's easy. That's the top one. If you go ahead, A, B, C, F, so A, B, C, and then F. Are these called planar? Well, you're talking A, B, and C is this top plane. Is F on the top plane? No. H, G, F, and E. So you go H. G, F, and E. So we're talking about this bottom one. So yes, they're all on the same plane. E, H, C, and B. So you're looking E, H, C, and B. So you're talking about this diagonal that comes down. You can have a diagonal. So yes, those would be coplanar. And then A, G, F. So A to G and F. So A, G, and F. So once again, those are coplanar. They're at a diagonal. C, B, F, and H. C, B, F, and H. So you have C, B, F are on this plane over here. H is not on that plane, so no. Okay, so line segment. The difference between a line and a line segment. A line segment has two endpoints. <clears throat> so you name it with no arrows. On it. So you can say AB or BA. Notice there are no arrows on the end, meaning that this comes to an end. So a line segment comes to an end, uh, line goes on forever. So name the four points in the figure. So we can J, K, L, and M. All right. Name two lines in the figure. So we can have a line J, K, and we can label this K, L. Those would be two lines. Name the plane. You could say plane R, you could say plane J, K, L, you could say plane L, M, J, any three of those points, and then name four line segments. So a line segment has an end point, so you could say L to M, line segment M to J, line segment J to K, line segment, and so on. So once again, line segment, we just, we don't have the arrowheads on the end. Right. Uh, where they intersect, so is it, if there are lines that intersect at a point, if it's a plane, they intersect at a line. So you notice, we have this line coming, or this plane coming through here, we have this plane going up and down, so where they meet, they meet at a line. So this is what we've talked about. So if, they, if there are two lines that intersect, it's one point, two planes intersect at a line. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, take the notes, make sure you have them ready for tomorrow. Thanks, bye.